Hi guys, do you have a big fancy rig and you need to put it on a sturdy, heavy duty professional tripod, but you don't want to pay the heavy duty professional tripod money this? This from Small Rig is your tripod, the Small Rig Free Blazer. My goodness, all carbon fiber, fantastic fluid head with tension adjustment for the pan. Let's talk about this. So as most of you know, Small Rig have been around for a while now making fantastically sturdy products. This one here is no exception. A pigeon just frightened me. Get away from a fancy tripod, pigeon. Now this guy is going to come in at basically one-fifth of the cost of a similar spec tripod from someone like Manfrotto. And while I've only had it a little while, so I can't tell you how it's going to hold up over the years, this is as solidly built as anything that I have ever seen. And it is absolutely fantastic. Any professional shoots where I'm taking out things like this, where I have my mat boxes and my monitors and my cages, my rails, this thing is coming with me for sure. First thing to talk about, of course, is the carbon fiber legs. Carbon fiber is fantastic for not only weight saving, but also for uh, stability and durability. So this thing is going to be rock solid. Vibrations are not going to affect the camera as much. So not only is it lighter to carry, this will definitely give you a sturdier base so that when you are panning, tilting, or just keeping it steady, then uh, this is going to do you great. It has the one-handed latch system that you see in some of the more expensive tripods, so you can just grab the latches and adjust it with one hand, which you often need to do. Now the feet here, check this out. First, it has the regular flat feet, so if you're on a flat surface, no problem, but you can just press a button here on the back and then slide that foot off, and now you have two spikes to dig in to whatever surface you have, or perhaps an enemy who has wandered onto your film set. I love that, not having to change out the feet, just be able to slide it on and off, fantastic. Speaking of sliding on and off, of course it has a Manfrotto style quick release plate, and uh, that quick release plate uh, will also jive with uh, Ronin RS2, RS3. Not the uh, RS3 Mini, unfortunately, but the other Ronin RS products, then uh, they can just go right onto this quick release plate right here, and it also has a safety mechanism to stop, uh, even if you haven't fastened it, for you to stop your camera from falling off, by uh, just going to the edges there. Safety lock, but tighten it down. Now, of course, the most important thing on a tripod like this, besides the uh, stable carbon fiber legs, is the ball head itself. This is a fluid head, and look at this right here. You can adjust the tension of the pan, so you can make it super loose if you want, or super tight. You can also lock it down entirely, of course, with this knob here on the back. And this here is the knob for the tilting. It doesn't have the same type of tension adjustment, but you can make adjustments on this depending on how tight or loose you make it to have the right amount of balance for yourself, for your tilting and your panning. It's got a nice little spirit level here to make sure that you are level at all times that you can see even with a big rig like this on there. Now the fluid head is a ball shape. You can take the bowl out entirely, replace it with something else if you want. I don't know why you would do that. Or you can just make adjustments by loosening the bottom here and then uh, doing it to your heart's content. Level that up for yourself without having to move the legs. It's got a very nice adjustable lever here for your panning and your tilting. You can tighten that, loosen it, make it longer. You can also put it on different sides of the tripod. There are three different mounting points for this guy and you can just put it wherever you'd like. Now something else that's super cool about the legs here is you have an extra adjustment. If you wanna make the base wider or thinner depending on your needs, it can go from uh, one to 10 with their adjustments. Now when you wanna go fold up the tripod, you're gonna to wanna to keep that at least four or the knobs are going to hit the sides of the tripod but uh, I normally keep it as wide as I can. I like a wide base, you know what I mean? Like a good football running back. You keep it wide, then they can't knock you down. And even though this tripod is not feather light, it is pretty light for what it is. It's 11 pounds and you can attribute that to the carbon fiber legs. So something that you can take around pretty easily while still being extremely stable. And it actually can hold 22 pounds, so that is a pretty, heavy rig. It goes from uh, 37 inches to 77 inches in height and all folded up it is 39 inches. And you can put that 39 inches in the nice carrying bag that they send along with the tripod. Great value. 
Now, while this is about a fifth of the cost of other tripods with similar features, Small Rig actually makes a very budget version of a heavy duty tripod that I have reviewed. So if you find the price too steep on this one, I would recommend you check that tripod out. That is fantastic. It doesn't have the bells and whistles of this guy. It is not quite a professional tripod like this one, but it definitely gets the job done and I've used it a ton. So, uh, and I will put the price because I don't have the finalized price on this guy yet, but I will put the links below. I will uh, link it to the small rig store, to Amazon, to B&H, whoever has the best deal, then uh, it will be in those links. So thanks very much to Small Rig for sending this guy out for review for you people. This is definitely the best heavy duty tripod I have ever used in my life and I look forward to using this for years to come. Absolutely fantastic. Good job Small Rig and good job for you guys for watching until the end. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay bye bye. I gotta get out of here in case a train comes. I don't think they're running today but I didn't really check.